So I have been asked how I cage my pepper plants in containers. These specifically are earth boxes, but this will work for most any container you have, especially a, an odd shaped one like an earth box. It's uh, kind of a rectangle instead of round. Let me show you how I make them and how I install them to hold up these massive pepper plants full of peppers. Well, years ago, I started making tomato cages out of concrete reinforcement wire, just round cages. I've got a video on it uh, called How to Make the Best Tomato Cages in the World. And I still stand by that. They are the best tomato cages you will ever build. So let me show you what I do with those round tomato cages so they will fit an oblong, a rectangular earth box. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera because you're you're looking at a wire but my tomato cages are round made out of the uh, concrete reinforcement wire and again i've got a video on that you need to watch that first if you want to build these but then what i do is open them up and form kind of a c instead of being round instead of being a circle i curl the ends up i just open them up and curl those ends up to where they are C-shaped, okay? I don't know whether you're getting that or not on the, on the video, but I think you should be able to see the bottom of it. And that's perfect, these tomato cages. And how much reinforcement wire did I use? Well, they're six inch square, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares per cage is what I use. And then I like I say they're they're in a circle when they're for a tomato cage, but now I've opened them up for, to where they are C-shaped to fit around an earth box. So let me show you how I install them on the earth boxes and how I keep the pepper plants inside them. So again, hopefully you can see that the tomato cage itself just slips right around the earth box and just fits nicely, really nicely. I come in here with some, uh, I use 3 8 rebar, that's what that is, 3 8 rebar, and I just zip tie it in a couple of places, uh, two different pieces of rebar, because these, uh, these peppers get, they might not get as heavy as a tomato plant, but they get pretty doggone heavy when they get full of peppers. And if you're growing them in earth boxes, you will get full of peppers. So I pound the rebar in the ground, and then I tie it to that. That makes it pretty steady, pretty sturdy. I can get peppers from this side, but the front side is open because we're in a C shape, remember? So the front side is open. So let me show you what I do there to keep, to keep them from just falling out on the ground. So on the front side of the peppers, I come in here with some twine. This is baling twine. And I just start at the bottom when the peppers are, are uh, uh, 12, 18 inches tall. I just come in here and, and tie a piece of twine across it. A little while later, when they get a little bigger, I tie another piece of twine, and then another one, and then another one. And that will hold your peppers up. Again, gives you plenty of access here. You can reach through the twine. It's not tight, tight. And you can uh, have access to all your peppers. And again, if you wanna know whether or not an earth box will grow a pepper, that's a cayenne. And that's one of the shorter ones I've gotten. That's a cayenne. That's 12 at least inches long. Those are cayennes from Haas Tools. I've got some heatless habaneros growing on this one. And again, strings across the front. The cage on the back holds it in place, but the strings across the front hold it, keep it from from falling over this way. I haven't been as good about tying these strings across the front as I should have been and I had this one actually uh, fall over and broke a little broke a little piece of the limb there. So uh, but that is the way to do it. You can get some massive monster beautiful peppers. That's an Italian pepper. Not very big but it's pretty. And then that one's I picked those for supper. 
That's a nice Mamma Mia Rosso. Mamma Mia Rosso from also a seed from Hoss Tools. So that's the tomato cages that I've converted into earth box cages. And yes, this works on tomatoes too. I've got uh, my tomato plants over there that have just about gone the distance and they're starting to, to die out there all determinate. And that's exactly what I did on those. The exact method I used on those. I've got those cage, same cages around the tomato plants. But, um, and tied them up with the strings in front. But these are gonna last through frost. Those are gonna die. And these are gonna last through frost. So uh, they will get taller than that. They will get as tall as the cage probably. I'll probably have to come in here and put, and put string several more times up here to keep them upright. And uh, but anyway, they look good. It's, a, it's an attractive way to do it. Especially, like I say, if you're in earth boxes or if you're in a container that's, that's oblong shaped, odd shaped. Uh, if it's round, then just use a tomato cage and set it over the top. Put a stick of rebar or two on each side of it and that will hold it up. Been using them for several years, just never showed you that before. And uh, thought it'd be a good idea to show it to you now. All right, make you some cages for your peppers. They want to stand up straight and they will grow tall all the way till frost if you take care of them. All right, we're gone.